Hey guys, you're checking out a two door reaching freezer made by uh, Coltec. Coltec is no longer in business, so uh, it is hard to find any parts for this unit like gaskets, motors, uh, the temperature control. You might be able to find it actually, but uh. Or put like a like a universal type of uh, temperature control. Okay. Uh, complaint here is that the unit's not uh, coming uh, down to temperature. Uh, here's a model number of the unit. Let's see if I can squeeze by. Let's uh, see what we find. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so again here the unit's low on charge. Check pressures, uh, there is a leak in the system. So after checking for the leak, for a while, I checked the evaporator coil, couldn't find anything. I come here where the CPR valve is and check this out. Yeah, very common. Uh, place to find a leak. They usually leak at the at the cap where the set screw is. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove all the insulation and see if I could get a video where it's leaking. Stay tuned. So this is where I found this is what I found. Look at that. CPR valve leaking from the body. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sock this valve out. Hopefully I have one in the truck. If not, I'm gonna go to my local supply store and pick one up. Okay guys, so I have the system. I, uh, I have, I'm running a pressure test on the system. I have about 110 PSIG. Let's check if the uh, CPR valve it's uh, leaking, the new one. Just get that. Out. Sorry, guys, I'm using my phone. It's kind of complicated to do everything in one hand. So, this is the new valve installed. It's a down uh, The one I pulled out was a uh, sweat uh, style as you can see the leak was here at the body very common leak by the way either here or at the set screw sometimes this cap here once it's leaking at the cap but it's actually coming from the set screw once you remove the cap you'll you'll see that it's leaking there so this is my old valve made by Sporlin I get a, uh, a downfoss valve uh, it's a flare they did not have a sweat so I did have to do a few modifications here nothing major but it's in place already let's test for these Okay guys, uh, I'm ready to pressure test on the system now. I have about 110 PSIG. Let's check the valve. The valve in place. Replacement valve is a flare made by Danfoss. I did have to make a few adjustments here. Nothing too big. Okay, here's my uh, old valve, it was a Sporlin valve made by, uh, I'm sorry, it's Sporlin, it's, and it's a 
sweat connection. Leap was here at the body, which is very common. They also leak from uh, the set screw inside. Uh, you know, a lot of times you'll find this cap leaking, but it's actually coming from the set screw and the leak is coming out this way. Okay, let me uh, pull a good vacuum in the system and, char and charge the system up and uh, we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Okay guys, CPR in place. Got the uh, insulation here wrapped up on the valve. Everything nice and, and covered. Replace the dryer back there. And let's pull a vacuum and charge the system up. Stay tuned. Hey okay, guys, I'm also replacing the uh, the uh, condenser fan motor on this unit. It's the old motor there. It was already spinning at very low speeds. This is my replacement motor. This is an OEM motor. 34 watt. Not a very common motor, so luckily RHS had an original motor for this unit. And just went ahead and washed the blade. I'm gonna clean the coil and, and uh, charge the system up and see how it uh, works. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, the system is operational. I said this is a Coltec uh, reaching two door reaching freezer. My temperature as of now is 21 degrees. I do have my uh, thermometer here just to make sure. Uh, my uh, existing thermometer, uh, it's not out of range. So it's within uh, what, two degrees or so? One. 2.3 so it's about within a degree so that's good I always like to put my thermometer on the units they're not always accurate the existing thermometer okay, this is the model number of the unit charge the unit up by scale at 30 ounces R404A PSIG, which is good. I charge the unit up by scale, like I said, and that's uh, my final pressure. So I always charge the uh, most of the units. I try to charge them up by with the uh, by scale. I'm sorry, by scale. Weigh in the charge, drop it in. Any self-contained. Okay hey guys, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Hey there guys, um, just finished this call about the, uh, the two door uh, reaching freezer. I couldn't get a lot of uh, video there because uh, guys were working and I was kind of like in the way since the unit was located in like uh, the main entrance or the entrance to the walk-in cooler. So they kind of, you know, had to move me around or ask me to move because they were putting a bunch of uh, uh, vegetables and potters inside the walk-in cooler. So anyways, yeah, I, I finished with the, with the uh, CPR uh, valve installation. Um, I did check the CP, uh, the amperage at the compressor on startup to make sure I was not exceeding the amperage on startup. Make sure my compressor was not getting flooded that's mainly how i check those uh those uh <clears throat> valves to see if they're gonna need to be adjusted 
I usually don't mess with them. They kind of come pre-adjusted already. So, but if I do see uh, that I am exceeding the amperage on startup, uh, it's not gonna be good. I am gonna have to uh, adjust the, the CPR valve. But in this case, it went out smooth. I didn't have to adjust or make any adjustments at the CPR valve uh, screw, the set screw. So everything went smooth, yeah. So just for the guys out there, the new guys, yeah, you you always wanna check your amperage at the compressor on startup when you install in a CPR valve. Why? Because you wanna make sure you're not, you're not, you don't get it, you know, your, compress, your compressor flooded. You know, that's what kills the compressor and always usually happens on startup. So yeah, as long as just check your amperage after you install in the CPR valve and it always happens on startup. So uh, have your amp probe, uh, check for amps and uh, check your amps, uh, you know, at the compressor. Make sure you don't check your nameplate, check the amperage uh, rate at the compressor. If you don't exceed the amperage on startup, then you should be good. I always try to stay within five or six six amps under. Um, but yeah, just check that. Everything, like I said, on this on this uh, unit went out smooth. Uh, unit was dropping temperature, and um, yeah, so it went out smooth. So yeah, I just wanted to throw this out there for the new guys or the people who are actually, you know, wondering or you know, the function of the uh, the CPR valve. Okay, thanks for watching. I will be making some more videos soon. Sometimes it is hard, you know, to make videos, but yeah, um, I will be making some more videos. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.